what's up guys and welcome back to another video today i'm just going to be showing you uh the basics of uh selling something on roblox so uh we're just going to make a gui real quick so uh just make a screen gui inside a screen gui and then it's going to be like you know uh an image label you can do it whatever you want i'm just going to do an actually not an image label i'm going to be doing an image button um so image button right here and you could do the, like whatever you want so I'm just gonna uh, take this you know you know I'm just you know what you know what guys let's just do a text button just you know text button um, I'm going to change this to, uh, to speed and we're going to go down into um, text right here. Let's just do text scale. The text is going to say speed. You could customize it, whatever you want. I'm just doing this for you know test purposes. And so then we're just going to go onto uh, here onto Roblox. So I'm just going to go onto my game real quick. You know, just tutorials uh, and. You want to go to store right here and to click add pass this button right here. So you click create a ba game pass, and you're gonna go onto here. And I'm just gonna do this. Uh, let's just name this speed. There we go. And makes you fast. And now I already have one right here, but you know it's not working. But so we're gonna go here on to verify upload and go on to um, here, click figure, and then we're gonna go on to go to details. Oh no, no, no you wanna go back, uh, go into sales and click item for sale, and you just type in how much you want. I'll just make it 50, and you only get 70%, so that's just a heads up. And so now we're gonna do the scripting for it. So you're gonna go on want to go onto this button and do uh, and insert a local script into here and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna do um, script dot parent dot mouse button one click which basically detects if you're clicking the thing and you're gonna go into connect and then function and you're gonna go onto here, onto that part, and then click, just click enter, and it should do that automatically. Um, you're gonna want to do game colon get service, and you're gonna um, just you know uh, that, and you're gonna do marketplace service. So if you just type M and click tab, there we go. And then uh, you're gonna do prompt. Uh, it's important that you type this uh, correctly, or else it's not going to work. Game pass purchase colon game dot play uh, players dot local player and then comma. ID. So basically, what ID is. So it should say that you're gonna go on to the beginning of this um, and do local ID equals. So this is what ID. It's like a variable. This is what it is. So this ID right here, it means the part that goes after the equal. So like you could shorten stuff. But basically, what you want to do is you want to go here to details. And this thing up here, you want to copy this. So, you know, copy that, go back onto Roblox Studio, and you want to paste it in there. So now, as you can see, uh, if we do this, uh, if we go down onto here, that just happens to me for some reason. If we do that, um, it should, if you click this, it should say, you already own this item, your account has not been charged. Uh, f if for other players, I I they it will charge them, but since you're the creator, then it won't charge you. So yeah, it shows that, and yep, now you might be thinking, oh, it already sold it to you. 
Now we're gonna make it work, okay? So you want to go on to uh, server script service right here, and um, I'm just gonna. Uh, so you want to insert a normal script, not a local script, and I'm just gonna rename this script to um, to game pass because it basically just determines what the game pass does. So you want to go on to uh, just local ID equals the same ID as last time and I will also include these scripts in the description uh, if you want them in the description but it's easier to you know it's best it's best to follow with me and you know learn scripting and stuff like that uh, so you want to go into local ID and then the ID and then game um, game colon get service marketplace service and you might be uh, it might it's gonna be typed more than once in this one uh, you're gonna do prompt type this in um, correctly because it's case sensitive prompt game pass wait game pass purchase finished um, and then colon um, prompt. Oh wait, yeah. Prompt dot game patch purchase finished. Wait, is this a colon or? Okay, I don't think so. Yeah, this is just a dot. Hmm, I'm gonna so you're just gonna type uh, connect. And then function player for PLR, PLR um, and then we're gonna type comma IDO purchased. There we go. Um, it's kind of it's kind of long, but you know it's gonna. Uh, this next part is what it's gonna do. So uh, you're gonna do uh, if purchased and id equals equals ido. Then player dot character dot humanoid dot walk speed equals now you could change this to whatever you want. You could do like uh, it shows GUI and then that GUI changes your speed or it does anything like that. You could do like a launching rocket or something like that. I don't know. Anything you want to do, um, then you just do that. Um, and then you want to go uh, down um, onto here. Uh, game dot players dot player added connect function and then functions we call plr and then if game colon get service marketplace service um colon user owns game Pass a sync player dot user ID and then ID. 
then game dot workspace colon wait for child here dot main colon wait for child Walk speed. Oh, speed equals twenty. Oh yeah. Also, um, this walk speed at the top. Um, you have to do a capital S there. Yeah. There we go. Now, let's just test this out. If we can play. There we go, now it works. Yeah, it was just, you know, a little slow. But yeah, um, as you can see, your um, your walk speed, uh, I just have to change, you know, the walk speed to 50. But yeah, now it works. As you can see, I'm running really fast. There you go. And uh, if you want a comment, like, okay, so if you want um, the, like, stop. If you want this to do, if you want it to do like whatever you want, um, and you don't know how to do it, just leave a comment on this video like what you want to do, and I'll try my best to teach you how to do that. So yeah, thank you for watching this video, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>